What's up guys, Ryan here. In this video, I wanted to follow up on a comment somebody dropped me on one of my YouTube videos about checking out an app called Photopea. I'll use Photoshop for as long as it's free, but for those of you that don't wanna pay, what is it, $10 a month, I think? Or you can get like the suite for, I think, 20 a month, but if you don't wanna pay that, no need to anymore because there is an app called Photopea that you can get, and it's a web browser-based version of Photoshop, basically. So that's what you see right here. It's photopea.com. I'll put a link in the description as usual. And it's free. I mean, there's no catch. You don't have to sign up. Uh, there is like a paid version. I I looked at the benefits. You really don't need it as far as I'm concerned, other than for like um, backtracking, tracking more of your moves and being able to go backwards more. But anyways, all you have to do, this is lit. I, I literally just loaded the page up and this is what you see initially. I'm gonna click PSD. And uh, actually, no, it's not clickable, sorry. I, by the way, I didn't do too much prep for this video because I wanted to show you from like an authentic angle how easy this really is to use, this web-based version of Photoshop, if you will. And I mean, look at this, look at the similarity they did. That is no coincidence. They definitely were aiming to look like a clone of Photoshop, but you know, they did what Adobe couldn't, and I don't wanna say couldn't, but what Adobe has not done, and that's make a web browser-based version of the app. So I'm just gonna click new project. You'll notice though, they had presets for things like Facebook covers built in there. And you could say that this, the biggest competition to this app is probably Canva. Although Canva will charge you to do things that this app will let you do for free. So, and I'm not gonna get into a full breakdown cause I wanna keep this video kind of short. But over here on the toolbar, it's very similar to what you have in Photoshop. It was really just to show you how quickly, easily, and efficiently we can use Photopea. Again, there's no credit card that you need. There's no catches, no gimmicks. If I grab this URL and I go incognito, if you thought there was a login or anything like that, there's not. This is proving it to you right now because in incognito, you can't be logged in already. So we're right back where we started here. All I had to do is click the link. So again, just use the link in the description or just type it in. I don't care. It's not like a tracking link or an affiliate link or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so I hope this helps guys. If you have any other suggestions similar to Photopea or Canva that you want me to check out, just drop me a line, drop me a comment. And, uh, yeah, if it, if I think it'll help, I'll, uh, I'll share it with everybody else. So let me know. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Do me a favor real quick. Just hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, it'd be huge. If you could just go ahead and click that sub button, cause I'm going to be dropping a lot more valuable content. So my goal is to post videos more regularly and I will see you guys at the next one.